What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so here we are continuing our adventure straight to Lavender Town, and of course, this place has a lot of trainers as usual, and, well, let's move on right here because I'm kind of getting sick and tired of, uh, you know, standing around and all that crud. So, there's nothing here. I thought I'd try. I really, think, I really thought I'd try. So now, in our last episode, we defeated everybody, evolved Charmeleon into Charizard, off screen, I did, I managed to uh, what was it? To rete or actually teach Charizard its wing attack move that it should have learned at level 36. And here we have a tentacle that wants to bother us and all that crud. So I'm gonna cut this thing and well, we're gonna find a Pokeball right here. And look at that, we found ourselves a calcium. It's always good. So now let's just get back to the winning ways right here. Now the reason why I got Orchid here is because yes. It, it does no cut. I actually taught it, and uh, this is actually a place where you actually can find a bunch of uh, a bunch of rare items here, or a bunch of, a bunch of useful items, nuggets, and all that stuff included. And it looks like we're gonna be battling a fisherman right here. Yep, we're battling a fisherman. Let's go. All right, what's the most important in our lives here? Whatever. I'm really not at that point where like I want to read anything, and this guy has a Gyarados. God dang it! So, let's go right ahead and use Latios, because we, we, we do have that Pokemon right here. So, Luster Purge will destroy him. Not really. And here we go. Okay, so he's coming out with another Gyarados. So, let's continue on right here with Erwin. And just overpower this guy with our, you know, physical attacks right here. He's coming out with another Gyarados. Okay. Okay, Battle of the uh, Powerful Pokemon right here, and his Rain Dance started right here, and he's got a Hydro Pump going, so let's see if this one will overpower him. Dragon Dance. Oh, uh, crud, this guy... Yeah, so we're gonna have to just hit him with Surf, uh, with Surf's attacks, and... There we go. Dragon Dance again, and there we go. Look at that, Charizard grows to level 42, and we are victors again, so... Let's go ahead and move on right here, and... Okay, so that was about to say, there used to be a house right there, but there it is. And let's see what Homeboy has to say right here. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I can see that you like fishing. There's no doubt in my mind at all. So, am I right? Yeah, you are. I do love fishing. Yes, yes, just as I thought. Here, fishing fan, take this. It's a super rod. And we got ourselves a super rod, which is always great, guys. And... Well, as many as you probably already know, Super Rods can capture some pretty legit water type Pokemon. I am not going to be doing it right now. Or, let's see, hold on. There might be something right here. A big open piece of water, and. Well, I thought wrong. Yeah. Because this. Because uh, if, if there was. If there is one thing that this game has taught me, is never, ever, ever doubt the big piece of uh, uh, open water, because it might take you somewhere. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so let's see. We're Route 11. Okay, so this place is right here is blocked off by that Snorlax. So, yeah, we're going to be battling all these trainers, too. Why not? Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out the Pokemon right here. Let's go with Nidoking. And let's go ahead and start battling everybody. Let's go. Oh, he doesn't say anything. Psychic, okay. Mega Horn. Super effective. Got the moves. There we go. Look at that. Alrighty. Anywho, guys, you guys probably already heard. I've, I've already said this quite a few times. I uh, just want to keep on reminding you guys because this is pretty. This is something pretty exciting. Uh, so we're close to being done to our uh, with our Pokemon Liquid Crystal Wonked right here. I've had so much fun playing this game. Uh, mainly because it's just full of surprises. So many things that you know I, I never thought that they like the creators fit in into this game right here and they actually did and you know I'm actually glad that I, I went through with this whole thing I mean if there's if, if ever there's something that this pandemic has brought something good that it's brought that it's brought some time to to, to like to our lives to do most of our hobbies right here it brought me a little bit more time to you know to simultaneously make three walkthroughs for you guys that way that way you guys can be entertained with different kinds of walkthroughs, because originally... Oh, look, he's learning Slash. Okay, hold on. Hold on just a sec. Take away that Scratch. Okay. Originally, 
I was just gonna go in a linear ver uh, linear uh, kind of way by just like you know continuously playing uh, Pokemon like the storyline going into starting from Pokemon uh, Pokemon which we call it uh, yellow all the way to black that was my my whole plan but then this whole this whole crisis happened and oh crap this guy's okay so he's poisoned so I gotta switch. So, yeah, th this whole crisis happened, and it just brought so much time. Uh, it, it brought, you know, Pokemon Liquid Crystal, Omega Ruby, it came out. Uh, what else? What else came out? Omega Ruby, Black Version. We're almost done with Black Version as well, guys. And, and I think I posted it up already that, you know, I'm, I'm planning on coming out with a Pokemon Heart Gold series. Uh, this is steering away from Pokemon Soul Silver that I've done twice already, and that's mainly because you know, first the color, and secondly, it's just like it's just moot doing it again and again and again. I think Pokemon Soul Silver is the one game out of the whole series or the walkthroughs that I've done back when I was Draven XC711 that I, that I probably won't touch mainly because it's like you know I've done it so many times. It's easy. It's whatever and all that crud. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said in the last episode. Like I said in the last episode, uh, hold on just a sec. Yeah, I will be, I will be coming out with Pokemon Heart Gold as soon as I hit 7,000 subscribers. And right now, it, it is May 20th. May 20th. I don't know when I'm gonna be coming out with this walkthrough or this episode, but uh, we are like what 15? No, I'm lying. We're 20 subscribers away. 20 subscribers away from uh, getting to seven or to 7,000 subscribers, which is a big accomplishment on itself. So as you can see right here, Snorlax is still there, and we can't go into the Diglett's Cave, so we've already accomplished something right here, going through Route 11. So now, let's go ahead and check out what kind of Pokemon you can find here. Of course, you can find Ekans. I think they follow through with the same kind of things right here. Any rare Pokemon? No, just Ekans. This is, they should call this Snake Way or something. And no. Okay, so a lot of Ekans. Never mind. Okay, so let's go back to Route 12 and continue our battling right here. And uh, here we have a Sailor Man. So what we're going to do right now is, uh, let's see, we're going to go with Shroom Lee right here. And, alright, so we're going to be battling this guy. I mean, with his Remoraid and Brud. I already used up most of my, H my PPs right here. Alright, let's go. This is what we're going to be doing right now. Just to the last... To the last P drop a PP right here. And this guy right here. Crap. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so we gotta switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with uh, Charmeleon right here, or Charizard. Damn you. Uh, let's see. Flamethrower. Destiny Bond. Okay, I'm gonna switch out. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, guys. Okay, here we go. Psychic Attack. Okay, so a lot of my Pokemon are just destroyed. Go, we're gonna be using up a whole bunch of potions right here. And hold on, hold the horses. Uh, you know what? Not use that. I think I have a full heal here in here somewhere. Okay, there we go. We got plenty of full heals. All right, so let's go right on ahead. Let's see. There's nobody here, and we got another fisherman. So let's go right ahead and switch him out. Let's go with Latios. Let's go. Martin wants the battle, and he does have his good Pokemon, Remoraid. And we're going to continue destroying Remoraid right here. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. So, moving on right here. Look at that. Okay, so, is there something right there? No, there's nothing right there. I'm still waiting on the whole uh, Orange Islands thing. We're eventually going to hit that place, but... You know, I think we, like, I kind of feel like, so, one, like, okay, so I haven't seen any kind of previews, or I, I haven't seen any walkthroughs about this game right here, guys. The only thing that I've seen, admittedly seen, is the, what happens after the Pokemon League, and that is that you, you're going to be battling the Hoenn League champion. But everything else is just different. My thought is that I kind of feel that... The the long, the big place or the uh, far away place that the warden the uh, Safari Zone warden has left to is is the Orange Islands. 
think we're gonna find them right over there. And if we do, then that right there is surprising as well. And look at that. And these guys, they don't play around. What the hell? Okay, so there's quite a few things in here. And look at that. We finally reached Lavender Town after all this time. And let's see. Kanto has many good radio shows. What the hell? Oh, wow. You enter Route 8 just like that. Okay, so. The hell? Oh, wow. They, they, really, they really incorporate everything into this. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and start visiting some places. We got time. So if you talk to this guy, his name is the official name raider. Yes, I kind of want to nickname some people right here. So let's go right ahead and nickname our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Nido King. This is a nickname, but would you like to give it a dicer name? Yes. Let's give it its old nickname right here. You know, its namesake right here. Let's see. We're going to be naming him. I bequeath to you the nickname. Thrasher. Welcome back, Thrasher. And okay, so we got Thrasher, and now we're going to be nicknaming our good old Charizard right here. Okay, so let's give it its good old nickname, Godzilla, Godzilla. So it's been a while, look at that, since I named you guys. Godzilla, okay, alrighty. Godzilla, Godzilla, okay, so look at that, we got all our Pokemon nicknamed except Latios, because, you know, it's a badass in itself. Eventually, like, off-screen, I will be nicknaming all my Pokemon, some of my Pokemon and all that stuff. And if you talk to this lady, Lavender is a tiny, quiet town at the foot of the mountains. It's gotten a bit busier since the radio tower was built. Okay. And, let's see. We're in Lavender Town. What is this? The Volunteer House right here. You need a Poketar to wake a sleeping Pokemon. Every trainer... Or, every trainer has to know that. Poketar. That's something that's new right there. And let's see, some cold-hearted people. Grandpa takes cold. Okay, so yeah, she's talking about uh, Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji does live here, but he's not home now. He has to. He's he's at the Soul House, but he's not coming home yet. Okay, I hope he's okay. So look at that. Another Mr. Seriously? Like I'm trying to read this book right here, and this just like she just moves into the way, and the application's for. Okay, so. Okay, so let's go right ahead and see where the Soul House is. I wonder if it's right here. I perfected the ultimate move of its type, but it, will no one take it for future use? Hmm, hmm. Yelatios. No, I was mistaken. Hold on. What if we used a starter? I'm pretty sure if it was a starter, then yeah. Let's see. Oh, this is the one. This is the Pokemon for alligators worthy of using the ultimate move. Would you allow it? To use Hydro Cannon, not at the moment, but eventually when we start battling the Elite Four again, or, you know, go into the ultimate battle, then yeah, we'll learn it. People come from all over to pay their respects to the departed. Souls of Pokemon. Okay, let's see. Oh, damn. And they really kept up with the theme of the Ghostly and all that stuff. Look at that. The Orange Tomb at the end of the room is dedicated to a Pokemon who died helping build the new radio tower. I wonder what it, was, what it has to do with Mr. Fuji. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Draven. Something very weird has been going on. An old man named Fuji was sucked into the, this tombstone. I'm no expert on ghosts, but I'll look at it with my scope. Whoa! You need to see this, Draven. Here, take my scope. And we got ourselves a scope. Okay, so... Okay, so we probably... Okay, so I'm gonna save the game because I kind of have a feeling this is something that we haven't prepared for. Actually, everything in this game we haven't prepared for. Let's see. Let's see. Through the oscilloscope, a mysterious Pokemon can be seen. The Pokemon attacked. And I was right. And look at that. It is a Gengar. Level 50. Holy crap, baskets. Hold on. Let's see if we can capture it because... Let's see. Throw a great ball. Okay, yeah, you can capture this Pokemon right here. Alright, let's go. Okay. Uh, level 50 Gengar. Of course, you you can't hit it physically. You have to use your special moves to beat this guy. And... Completely forgot that my Pokemon was... Uh... Oh, damn it! Hold on just a sec. I'll be right back.
Okay, let's do this again because, uh, <laughs> again, like I said, we never, like, none of this whole walkthrough made sense and uh, yeah, we haven't prepared for anything. So this time, let's try it again. Okay, so we look through the oscilloscope, a mysterious Pokemon can be seen, and the Pokemon has attacked. So, something that we do know is that we can capture Gengar, and it's at level 50, so if we throw an Ice Punch at it, it's not going to work. So, um, oh crap. So, actually, but I had some kind of poet, like uh, some paral paralysis moves. Hold on, just a sec. Hold on, just a sec. Hold on. Okay, so I should have gone with uh, Shroom Leaf first. So let's switch him out right here. Shadow Punch right there. Stun four. There we go. And now we start Mega Draining this guy. Of course, it's a Poison type Pokemon, so it's no biggie. There we go. Use Mega Drain until it's already done right here. Look at that. Shadow Ball takes a lot. And, oh crap. Okay, so let's go with Charizard right here. And now let's go ahead and try and capture this Pokemon. Let's see. As many of you guys already know, I have two Master Balls. One from one from uh, Johto and one from Kanto. And, god dang it. Shadow Ball again. Wow, this is a powerful Pokemon. And look at that, we captured ourselves a Gengar. I am throwing out the peace sign, guys! And we got all three. It is said to emerge from darkness to steal the lives of those who become lost in the mountains. God damn. Okay, so I got a, I got a good nickname for this Pokemon. We already named Haunter Smoke. Let's keep up with that thing. Let's go with this one right here. Noob Smoke after, you know, the combination Pokemon, or the combination in Mortal Kombat with Noob Saibot and Smoke. Okay, so after capturing that Pokemon, Draven lost the Silscope due to the force of the battle. The stairway has appeared in place of the Tombstone. Okay, so this is something new. This is a, yeah, this is a new development. We're gonna wait yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna pause it right here, and then in the next episode, bam, we're gonna be figuring out what the whole, this whole thing is. Plus, we're gonna be healing Pokemon and all that stuff, so thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next